<laughs> Adios. All right. So to keep this reptile themed, I figured I'd show off this is pixel now she had her post ovulation shed uh, november 5th and she ac actually wrote down that she copulated that night but uh, pop this open now i i actually had the mail with them for a while but she's probably due to drop this week, well, any time over the next three weeks, really. Um, let me see if I can kind of shuffle her around. I mean, she's she's fat. You can well. The part that I want to show you actually is over here. I don't want to mess with her too much, but one thing is the babies haven't started to drop a ton near the vent. They're still up there. She's gonna light me up, but they're still right over here um so i'm thinking probably i have seen it where they drop pretty quick but you know she's right at a hundred and i don't know what would that be a hundred and let's see 31 31 so 62 72 82 88 Today is the 23rd, so 98, 108. Yeah, so uh, 115 days since the post ovulation shed is pretty, pretty quick, pretty early. But I mean, I, I had a litter drop 114 days, so, and I had another litter that was 120. Seems like 120 and 125 is kind of like the norm, but they don't always do what you expect them to do and i'd love it if she would just come up a little bit so i could show her i mean look look at that i mean she is just full 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 and she ovulated and i've noted it so she is just plump as plump can be off feed um and actually i'll show you daddy the baby daddy 
I'll show show you the baby daddy. That's a uh, Twizzler. Where is he at? Oh, he's up here. Oh, this is that new um, Redline science cage that's been working out awesome. We've got it got a light on it. But yeah, that's that's dad there. If I can get him to wake up and want to bite me. Both these guys are captive corn and bread. They're very red. He was kind of sold as like a low expression calico. You can see his face, but um, she's obviously <laughs> calico. So we'll see what the babies look like, but I do expect some reds. Um, yeah. So also, this is for those of you guys on um, my Instagram that follow me. Um, you guys probably saw me post pictures of me saying that I thought both of these were um, young females. And as it turns out, this guy that's right here is actually the male and she's just kind of a small female. I had no intention of breeding her, but you guys saw I posted those pictures. She's ovulated. <laughs> Um, so it'll be probably about the cleanest bicolors ever produced in my opinion, um, because they are, these two animals are spectacular, but yeah, I don't have high hopes because she's not very big. She's got the age, but she's just pretty small. So, I mean, I did breed a female at her size one time and I got seven slugs and two live babies, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. Then what else? So I did have a different male in with this girl because she's also a calico and I had a red, my red male Fogo in with her, but I threw this guy in there just to see what would happen because he's already bred Satan's helper. So I, um, he was up with Satan's helper in here and bred her. And so I basically switched the males. This is Fogo from the cal the, um, calendar. He's red. So I had him in with this girl and nothing was really happening, but yet this male, I had already seen him breed her. And she's already um, off food, super dark. And I palpated her the other day and, you know, feel like seven or eight lumps. So anyway, I threw this male in with her. Now he has been getting kind of comfy with her, but the real thing is what I was doing and is I didn't want to miss out on this female. And so I threw in this eager little dude here now it's not really the pairing I want, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I may, like, I kind of have, like, breeder's regret on that. Um, because she's spectacular, he's spectacular, but um, I don't really, you know. I think his, his sperm would do better with, like, a bicolored female. Not because this girl's red and all that white on her that she actually had a nasty RI. So that's from me treating her. Um, it's scarred up really bad, but she's well and feeding. And I know her, who she was produced by. So, um, I know the lineage behind her. So I'm still, um, really excited to get babies out of her. So, yeah, so that's one pairing. Let's see. Um, and yeah, the only other one is, is this dude, which I kind of, he's got some stuck shed on him. I kind of want to put him back in with that other, other girl. Maybe he, cause that's who I really want to breed her. And he might, uh, he might catch the scent of another male. Maybe it works out for both of them. So I got those guys. That's four. That's all four pairings. I, I'll be 
shocked if I actually hit on all four of them, but that's kind of what it's looking like. Now this girl is opaque and this would be her prelay shed because she's got eggs all in here. And this would be uh, Ganyasoma Afoxus Saphalum. I don't know how to say the back the last part of it, but um, yeah, she's definitely, definitely opaque. And this will be dad here. Both of these guys are actually captive bred, believe it or not. But yeah, he's awesome. I posted the when they when they locked up too. I posted them on uh, Instagram. He's a little defensive right now, but he's really not too bad actually. I usually take him out. All right, both of them are totally tractable. All right, so that's uh, that's going to do it for this. So I'm going to go ahead and switch these two males back up, but that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe and uh, finishing off on a cold-blooded reptilian note. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs>